Hi, I'm Natalie with Eminence for another episode of In The Mix. Well, today is all about how to exfoliate. Seems to be a big question. When to exfoliate? Am I exfoliating too much? Is my face gonna rub off? Am I gonna go raw? Lots of questions come up when we're talking about removing anything from the face. So first of all, there are different kinds. So when there's mechanical or physical, you might hear, and all it is is that you're gonna feel grit. There's gonna be some type of granule feeling to the product. Second is chemical. Now, okay, before you all start freaking out about chemical, don't worry about it. Uh, just so that we know, water is actually considered a chemical. So know that chemical exfoliants are designed to help do all the work that we need them to do, but you're not gonna see them. So you're gonna maybe feel them, but you're not gonna feel, uh, see, feel any uh, grit. You're gonna feel it in the skin. So a bit of tingling sometimes, maybe a little bit of cooling, totally normal. First, let's begin with who are you, what skin do you have, and which ones do you pick? Beginning with our sensitive skin types, my best recommendation is to start with something that maybe isn't mechanical at first. You may want to look for a very mild and gentle chemical style exfoliants. My number one pick, because it doesn't matter what you're trying to take care of, so maybe you do have a blemish or maybe you are experiencing a little bit of redness to you, to your dryness, or you might be seeing those little dark spots, right? So we sometimes want to customize those choices and my best suggestion to you are to be using our um, Vita Skin Exfoliant I don't know if you've ever seen them before, but this is what they would look like on the shelf. But when you open this magic package, you're going to find the actual product with cotton rounds with it. And it's a liquid inside. So we have this beautiful airless pump, so that means we save what we need. And all you would need to do is so cleanse your skin first, pat dry, then take the cotton round, do a couple good little pumps, and you're going to see that it saturates the center of that cotton pad. And all I want you to do is just a nice compressing, so that means you're just going to press and sweep. You're just going to go across the forehead, down the nose, up the cheeks, just like this, down the jaw, and then continue. Don't forget about your neck and, of course, the décotier. If you have leftovers, my favorite chip, I always do my hands. And believe it or not, my elbows do because those places get a little bit dry. So a little trick so that you don't waste anything. No need to rinse it off. It's self-neutralizing. All that means to you is it's gonna stop. So it's gonna put it on, get the job done, and then it's gonna come to a stop. So that would be excellent for any of you who have some sensitivity in your skin. Now let's talk about oily. How would I wanna treat them? I love two-in-ones. Most oily skins love to get the job done as fast as possible. So truthfully, just grab yourself a good old two-in-one cleanser. I have uh, here today's the Red Current Exfoliating Cleanser. I just prefer this one a lot because it has a cooling effect and really makes the skin feel refreshed afterwards and it's brilliant inside the shower. This is an excellent piece to use. And then as I mentioned before, if you want to work a little bit harder, I would recommend the Arctic Berry uh, System for anybody who's dealing with more of a uh, problemic or blemished skin as well. And the second choice, actually I just threw it up here, is the Citrus Exfoliating Wash. They're kind of like, the battle pair. Sometimes you have it this day and then this day. So both are going to be very um, efficient for you. Uh, then if you want to do your own combo pack, <laughs> we have our tried and trusted, beautiful, celeb favorite, industry adored product is our st uh, strawberry rhubarb dermafoliant. And of course our brand new member, which is our stone crop Physifoliant. These are both powder, physical, or mechanical types of exfoliation treatments that you can put with water or with your favorite cleanser, no problem. Uh, strawberry, great for everybody. One hit wonder, everybody will benefit from it. But if you are a little bit more um, looking at uh, cleaning up those pores a little bit deeper, then I would go with the Stone Crop uh, Physifoliant. So both of them work with the same way, apply, scrub it in. Okay, my rule, circular motions, always in a circle, and then just splash the sink. It's beautiful, use a tepid to cool water, will really make it refreshing. And always remember to pat dry the skin before you apply your next product. And as I mentioned, my normal skin types, go to town. Have a great time with it. You can pick the uh, Vita Skin Peels, you can do your two-in-one cleansers, you could add your uh, powders or your strawberry dermafoliant in the physifoliant in any uh, water or cleanser as you desire. So I hope this gives you a little bit of direction and some excitement around exfoliating your skin and knowing sometimes when, when do we choose to go to see our esthetician for that little deep dive, go quarterly. 
pop in every seasonal change. This is a really good place to kick off your skincare routine when it comes to exfoliation. So I really hope that you enjoyed our beautiful in the mix for today on learning how to exfoliate and when to exfoliate your skin. And if you want to see more of me and in the mix videos, please don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and I look forward to seeing you next time. I'm Natalie for another in the mix. Catch you later.